Next match we got with Sega and Windsor. I think everybody's money's on uh, on Windsor on lockdown with the big recruits to come in. But I know a lot of people haven't seen a lot of the recruits, so we'll see what happens. And Sega is notorious for coming through with uh, with clutch wins, so it should be an exciting game for everybody to watch. <laughs> Pretty good. Should have taken advantage of our, the major they took, but it didn't happen. So I was playing the whole second half a lot better. Let's see what happens. Left this game, guys. This game is still our game. Come on, boys. We're up by four. We've got three minutes left. So we're going to pour on a few more. So that's how we do it. We did not too bad. We could have capitalized on a few more penalties and stuff like that. Would have made it a little closer, but uh, we got them next event. Ian Martin uh, playing on Windsor Lockdown here in Canada. Um, it was a good game. A lot of penalties. Uh, obviously, I'm an American, so this is the first time I've actually had the experience uh, to play the Canadian League. Uh, the penalties can kill you, but at least uh, you know with everybody, both sides getting the penalties, it went our way. Uh, won some, won some penalties uh, four on five. Won some games four on five and. It's a blast, man. I love every minute of it. There's nothing better than being able to travel around the country and the world playing with your, with your teammates. Uh, we got a great opportunity. Randy Smith, he's, he's the only reason we got this opportunity. And it's awesome. And a lot of the other guys, the D2 team, uh, Distortion from Chicago, uh, we, we played together for a long time. And so uh, they've, they've, they've grown with us. And so it, they're like sponges. Everything you tell them, they, they just absorb everything. And I wouldn't want to play with another team. Next game we got coming up is Toronto Rage and Barry Extreme. Uh, it should be a closer match than I think people say. I know on the forums a lot of people are going with Toronto in this match, but you know um, Barry made some big moves and pulled in some mutiny players, and uh, I assume they're going to come out with a strong, a strong push. So Toronto's got to be on their 
on their toes and push back twice as hard and, and hopefully go for the win. How's it going so far? We're doing, we're doing well. We had a little hiccup, but now we've recovered nicely. So we'll see how this next point goes. We got a minute and thirty of the first half. So it's it's seven two. Is it seven two? Seven two. Stop bitching. Get like, really? No, no, man. If it's not over, we plus minus. Like, we should be smashing these fucking guys. 15 nothing. Yeah, right now. Like express, right? We should not ever be trading games with, with teams like this. Like, hey, fuck. Practice is way too hard for us. We're way too smart players to, to fuck up like this. That consistently. Every single point, somebody's making an error, and that can't happen. Well, it's the truth, right? I'm not saying, I'm one of them, right? I'm impressed with the way we play with just us. We did it with our 10 guys or 10 core guys that we've been practicing with every week. We didn't really need pros. It's all good. We'll just bring up some new ones that aren't fucking criminals. They spinning and get nothing. Without swearing, it was a good game. Thomas Taylor could be the X factor and, and could give him the edge in this game. Tower one, one, two, three. Tower one. Raiders, everybody, please. Tower one. We have uh, sympathy cards we send out. Raiders team cards, so it helps with public relations and any sort of sour feelings after the match. It's 